What if I told you there is a way to almost instantly hit Reaper Grade 5 and gather your loot undercover, and it's all related to commodities? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this guide, so get ready to set sail on your first undercover Reaper voyage. Now let's get right into commodities and how they're your key to undercover reaping. What many people don't know is selling commodities at Reaper's Hideout actually awards you with a little bit of progress towards your Reaper Emissary grade. Keyword being little. But no matter how much, progress is still progress, and this means that with enough commodities on hand, you can effectively boost your Reaper grade from 1 to 5, all without leaving Reaper's Hideout. Pretty cool, right? So once you've spawned in and you're ready to set sail from your first outpost, you'll want to briefly vote up the Merchant's Alliance Emissary so you can purchase all of their commodities. Now obviously the commodities from just one outpost won't be enough to get you to Reaper Grade 5 when you go to sell later, so you'll want to make a few pit stops at the other outposts throughout your voyage. In total, you'll need 74 commodities to hit Reaper Grade 5, so that means visiting 5 outposts. Since each outpost has 15 commodities available for you to purchase at the Ambassador for the Merchant Alliance, if you buy all of them from all five outposts, that means you'll have one extra commodity on board. But you might as well bring it with you to make some extra gold since you'll already be stopped at the final outpost anyways. Make sure you vote down the Merchant's Alliance Emissary once you've picked up all of the crates at each outpost. Otherwise, you'll slowly gain emissary grades while collecting loot and other commodities. And that kind of defeats the whole purpose of being an undercover reaper if other grades Grade 5 Reapers can see you on the map because you left your emissary flag raised. Before you set sail from your initial outpost, I would recommend planning out as much of your route ahead of time as you can. From here, the choice is really yours in terms of how you go about your voyage. Oftentimes, traveling between outposts, you'll pass near treasuries, shrines, and sea forts, which are all great options for you to get some quick loot while you're collecting more commodities. You could also run voyages, complete world events, or sneak in some PvP on unsuspecting victims, all the while stopping at outposts along the way. If you can, try and snag a harpoon rowboat, because it will make the selling process at the end a lot faster. I would say a harpoon robo is basically a necessity for any solos trying to do this method. Stack your commodities to one side for easy access, and pile up your loot on the other end. Once you've collected 74 commodities, you have everything you need to finish off your run and make a fat profit. If for some reason you didn't vote down the Merchant's Emissary, now is the time to do it since you won't be able to once you're at Reaper's Hideout. If you did get your hands on a harpoon rowboat, use it to bring everything inside the hideout so it's that much closer to the selling point. Make sure you vote up the Reaper's Emissary before you start selling, and begin by selling the commodities. You'll notice your Emissary grade slowly increases with each commodity sold, up until the point you're a Grade 5 Reaper. Then you're free to sell the rest of your loot and cash in on that sweet 150% bonus. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like and consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Otherwise, enjoy terrorizing the sea as an undercover reaper.